guys, today I have a review on the Prestige Back to Black Lifesavers, and this was sent to me by the company for review purposes. They do have quite a few of these little tins at Ulta, and they run for around, I think it's like 12 or 13, I'm going to put the price point around here, I just want to make sure that I have it accurate, so I'll put the price point around here, and I know they have different ones, so I'll try to put all the different titles of the ones that they have down below so you guys know which ones are available and what it is it's a little tin like this and when you open it up it comes with different um liners or different um depending on which one you get like there's a smoky one this one is called like back to black the lifesavers so this one is themed for um things that will help like save your life in the makeup world so on the back it kind of shows you the products that it has i'm kind of blinding you guys because it has a reflection so on the back it tells you what comes in it and this one it's the lifesaver so they're the things that you can't live without it comes with a magic pen which is a colorless liner and primer for lips eyes and brows it matches any lip shade um, boosts eyeshadow color and wear wear and transform any eyeshadow into transfer free and long lasting eyeliners so it comes with the line and styler ink pen which is um basically an eyeliner like a felt tip eyeliner comes with the velvety smoky eye pencil which helps like um smudge and like to give you that smudgy kind of eyeliner look and it's supposed to last all day without budging or transferring and last is the makeup eraser pen so this is a, a pen to kind of remove any kind of mistakes that you make so these are dermatologic, dermatologic, I can't talk, dermatologically tested. They're long wearing, high pigment, GMO free, gluten free, and paraben free. So let me go ahead and show you guys. When you open it up, it kind of gives you instructions in here and it tells you how to use each one of these. So the magic pen, I absolutely love this. I've used quite a bit of it. So the point's not as pointy anymore. This is really cool because it's kind of like an all-in-one. I like the fact that it's kind of a little bit like waxy. So if you apply it on your brows, it just kind of makes like any kind of powder or um, any product that you add on there a little bit longer wearing. So I really like that. I did try it as a lip liner as well and it works really nicely. It's kind of like the Urban Decay, um, I forgot what it's called. It's like the clear one that they have, the lip liner. So it's like an all-in-one for every kind of um, lip color that you use. That's what it's used for. So I really like this. And last is that I did try it as an eyeliner. Um, it is a little bit harder because it goes on clear. So you kind of need to know where you apply it. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys here. That if you apply a line of this. And let me get one of their eyeshadows. So what you do with this is that you apply a line, right? And let's say you apply this on your... Um, on your upper lash line or even on your lower lash line and you take a eyeshadow and place it on top what it does is, is it'll stick to it so it's kind of like a primer but it's good because it's thin so that way you can actually like make a line and have it stick so I thought it was really really cool I did try this on my upper lash line it did come out a little thicker than I wanted it to because it's something that you kind of have to play around with and get used to. But I did like the effect that it gave because I used kind of a, um, it was kind of like a turquoise color and I applied it all over the upper lash line. A very, I try to make it as thin as possible on the top and just apply that there. And I think that it did an awesome job of actually making it stick. So I thought this was really cool. And I like that it's a multi-purpose. You can use it for your eyes, for your eyebrows, and for your lips. So I really like this magic pen. Next up is their Line and Style Ink Pen, and the shade is Black Shine. It's water resistant. That's what it looks like. It's a felt tip applicator. I really, really enjoy this. It's really, really nice. It's super black, and that's what it looks like right there. It just kind of like just glides on, which I absolutely love. I feel like if you're looking for a nice, affordable... Um, felt tip liner this one is the way to go it does last all day I really like the fact that it dries really really matte so if you're not into those liners where you put it on and it kind of has like a sheen or shine to it then this is definitely a great one to um, kind of use if you're not used to felt tip um, liners it's something that you're gonna have to get used to when you first use this just because it's it's very different than dipping into something or using a brush 
So it is a felt set, but it's really, really nice. I really enjoyed and love this. And I really like the fact that it, I don't know if you guys can tell, like it has a kind of like a little bit of a um, different texture here to kind of help you hold on to the liner better. So I really like the, the tip that they, the details that they put into this. Next up is their Velvet Smoky Eye Pencil. And I really love the fact that this is super, super black. That's what it looks like right there. It's super creamy and it glides on. And I love that it's it's a little bit drying. So it's kind of like the Inglot liner where it just like sticks on your eyes. And it just, it's a great, great eyeliner. Another good thing is that on the bottom, which I, I don't really do this a lot, you can actually like smudge and like smudge it out and kind of get that smoky look if you really want that smoky look you can kind of use this. But it does set really, really well, so you want to be kind of fast if you're going to smoke it out and use this kind of um, sponge on the end. I do really like this liner, and I really like the Velvet Smoky one better than their regular ones. I just feel like this one's a little bit less... It's creamy, but it's more drying, so it kind of just sticks to that waterline. And once I apply my eyeshadow, like my black matte eyeshadow, it really does stay a good while. So I really love this eyeliner. If you saw my review on their Total Intensity Long Lasting Eyeliner Pencils, then you'll know that these weren't that long wearing on me. They really didn't last. So for me, this one is really, really good and these are just okay. Next up is the makeup eraser. Out of the four things that came in this, this is the thing that I liked the least. This is supposed to be something that you use to erase any kind of mistakes. So you're just supposed to apply it and it's supposed to take it away so if you see right there it just takes it away so that's what it looks like you're supposed to like if you make a mistake take it away but I feel like it kind of smudges at the same time it does take away the product but it does kind of smudge at the same time and I did make a mistake with an eyeliner and then try to use this and it just kind of like smeared and smudged all over the place so I would recommend this um, this kit but this is something that you kind of have to work your way around um, the way I use it is kind of just dotting it on top of where the eyeliner is and then I would take a q-tip and just like spot that place to take up the product and then have it you know um, clean because if you just use this kind of like a pen itself and like drag it you'll see that you'll get hopefully you guys will see that you'll get like that excess stuff over here and it'll look dirty on your face so you don't want something to oh god <laughs> almost poke myself in the eye you don't want something that's gonna smear your mistake so that was something that I didn't really like with this I wish that um, it, you know, I kind of just wanted it to just work on that spot and like disappear, but it, it's kind of something that you have to kind of work with. They do say that you have to clean the tip after each use, which I have been doing, but I still feel like it kind of smears a little bit. So it is a nice product, but I would recommend like dotting it on top of where you made your mistake, like for example here, and then using a towel or, you know, like a Kleenex to clean that spot up. So that way you don't get kind of like that smearing around. So yeah, so this is what comes in this little box. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you guys tried this? Which of these little boxes have you tried? Um, what has worked for you? What hasn't worked for you? I'd love to hear back from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, and until next time, bye guys.